Being able to present this, the sixth celebration of the Blavatnik Awards for young scientists in the United Kingdom is both an honor and a genuine pleasure. The laureates and finalists of the 2023 Blavatnik Awards for Young Scientists These are among the largest unrestricted prizes for early career scientists in the UK. And as outstanding leaders in your areas, you have a responsibility to be champions of not just your field, but the scientific endeavour itself. Remember, with great science comes great responsibility. The Bulbotnik Awards programme doesn't just benefit its honorees, it touches all of us. In their relatively short lifetimes, they've already changed the world. How much more will they and other scientists change all of our lives? I, for one, am very, very anxious to find out. Please join me in congratulating our first finalist in life sciences from University College London, Dr. Andrew Sachs. Please congratulate Dr. Pontus Googlen. Friends and colleagues, please congratulate and welcome to the stage for her laureate presentation, Dr. Katie Dawes. The goal of my lab is to study antibody responses to emerging pathogens so that we can aid in the global preparedness to fight the next pandemic if and when it arrives. In my lab, we are preparing for viral emergence by studying the antibody responses to other emerging pathogens that have pandemic potential, including hantaviruses, flaboviruses and New World arenaviruses. We've learned so much from the SARS-CoV-2 pandemic, especially the importance of studying related pathogens. Thus, our ongoing research aims to identify epitopes that are shared across multiple related viruses and currently unknown variants. Congratulations to our first finalist in chemistry, Professor Jesko Kunke. Please congratulate Professor Andrew Lawrence. Dear colleagues and friends, it is my great pleasure to welcome to the stage our 2023 Chemistry Laureate, Professor Susan Perkin. We have been investigating electrolytes, fluids containing mobile ions. We found that objects immersed in a dense electrolyte, which are represented here by large blue spheres, feel each other over much larger distances than anticipated. This was really surprising particles hear one another over much longer distances than expected when they swim in a concentrated electrolyte. Once we've reported our findings, many other scientists made connections to other apparently unusual effects in highly concentrated electrolytes. These range from the design of responsive polymer materials to salt-loving salt microorganisms and to the design of improved electrolyte materials for energy storage devices. Looking to the future, what I hope this work will lead to is progress in understanding the mechanisms of chemical and biochemical processes in the high salinity natural marine environments in Earth's oceans. Detailed understanding of mineral and biological processes under conditions of changing salinity and alkalinity will help progress our understanding of the effects of a shifting climate. In science, we have the responsibility and the honour of interacting with ideas and findings of previous generations and of our own. We secure and we nourish this knowledge for future generations, as well as contributing to it in however small ways. In so doing, we hold ourselves to highest standards of honour, rigour and reason and integrity, and we are individually better and as a society we are better for that. Congratulations to our first finalist in Physical Sciences and Engineering from the University College London and ARM, Professor Javé Alglavay. As Professor James Screen is unable to be here this evening due to research commitments in Australia, please welcome to the stage to collect the award on his behalf, the Associate Pro Vice Chancellor of his university from the University of Exeter, Professor Krasimira Tasenova. It is with great pleasure that we are finally able to welcome to the stage from the University of Nottingham, Professor Matt Boyce. Welcome to the stage for her laureate presentation, Professor Claire Burridge from the University of Nottingham. Our universe is expanding, which means that galaxies are moving away from each other. But what is surprising about this 
is that the rate at which the universe is expanding is increasing. The universe is accelerating, and this has been happening since around the time of the formation of our solar system. But there has to be a new type of particle that transmits the force of dark energy. What if the particle transmitting the dark energy force can change its mass depending on the environment? This blue ruler shows the range of the fundamental strength of the dark energy force. Just from theory, we knew that the strength had to lie somewhere between the strength of nuclear forces and the strength of gravity. The blue region shows what we've been able to exclude so far. It means that if dark energy was to be detected, the particle can only exist within this tiny energy range. So our work narrows the range of the search from 100 trillion times to 10 times. Congratulations once again to all our honorees. Friends and colleagues, here's to the exceptional 2023 Bravatnik Awards for Young Scientists, Finalists and Laureates. And please raise your glasses to science.